Okay, let's talk about putting a wall that's not supported by a floor joist. Okay, once in a while this is going to happen where you have a wall that's going to sit above on the floor that doesn't rest on a floor joist. Okay, now if your floor joists are going this way and your wall goes this way, it's being supported every time it runs across the top of one of your floor joists. So perpendicular isn't a problem. It's when they run parallel and then you have a wall that runs between the two. Okay, what is supporting that? The only thing that's supporting that is that subfloor. Okay, so over time what's going to happen is your subfloor is going to settle and your wall is going to settle and that means everything above it's going to settle. So you want to avoid that. All right. So there's a couple methods in which you can solve the problem. When you're building, you check your floor plans and you say, oh, we're going to have a wall. So you can add another floor joist. To, if it's a long wall, you can add another floor joist underneath it to support the wall. Okay. Let's say you forgot to look at your floor plans and later on you're like, oh, I realized I didn't. So I've got a floor joist and a floor joist and the wall is running down here. So what I'm going to do then, I would crawl, crawl underneath and I would run blocking underneath the floor. Now the wall is being supported by the blocking and it won't sag over time, okay? So putting in the joist is best when you're building the floor system because that would be tough to put it back and put it in there later on. But if you forgot, you can go in and put it in with the blocking and it would serve the same purpose, okay? Now how do you determine whether this needs to be reinforced or not? Code says that the distance from here should not exceed four inches. Okay, so if it's over four inches from one of the two floor joists, then you have to reinforce it. If it's less than four inches, say if it, the wall was sitting over here, then I would not have to reinforce this because the load is, you know, being transferred more almost directly to there. So it, it wouldn't, it might, might sag a little bit, but you know, all houses sag to some degree because that's just the way they do. They settle over time and they sag, all right? So um, you're going to expect a little bit over time in any house, no matter how well built it is. It's going to settle over time. Just gravity has that effect on it, okay? So if it's over here, less than four inches, you're good. If it's out here in the middle, you have to reinforce it. Reinforce it with a new, another floor joist or by blocking underneath the floor, okay? So make sure you check all those when you're building your walls to make sure they're on something solid, okay?